I'm back today with another kind of odd piece of Knight Rider history. I think you guys like this stuff, right? Not the mainstream, normal screen use props. I mean, I know you like that, but I think you guys like some of this oddball stuff that we pull out. You know, like the pea seats, which are right there. Yes, those are the pea seats. Um, this is a really bizarre piece that I'm about to show you. Do any of you guys know or have seen this? Take a look at it. Does this look familiar? My guess is probably not. I mean, maybe to some of our international folks over in Europe, this might look familiar. That's kind of a clue right there. Any idea what it is? All right, well, we are going to go over the history of this piece, exactly what it is, where it came from, and more. So stick around. Okay, let's get right to it. This odd electronic panel is actually an overhead console from one of the two Knight Rider cars that toured with David Hasselhoff during his 1989 Looking for Freedom tour. Now, we're not going to deep dive into these tour cars quite yet. Look for an in-depth video on these tour cars soon to include who built them, where they toured, and where they are today. The car that this console came out of was built, we believe, in late 1987. It was promptly exported and ended up in Greece for a while, even being used in a commercial for Express Service, starring David Hasselhoff. Take a look. I have a problem. Serious one? Yes. I'm afraid I can't handle it. What should we do? Call them. Call who? The largest assistance organization. Calling express service. Calling express service. Calling express service. I don't believe it. We're already here. For sure, Mike. They're the fastest in Europe. Didn't you know that? Express service. By 1990, the car was in Germany and was being used to promote David's Looking for Freedom concert. From what we can tell from our analysis of the concert videos, this car does not appear to have actually been used on stage. However, much like the other tour cars, numerous fans of the show had the chance to sit in kit and have their picture taken with the car. Unlike the two Night Rocker tour cars built for David's 1987 European tour, these two replicas didn't utilize any interior fiberglass parts from the original studio molds. Once David's tour was over, this car went into storage until 2008, at which time it was pulled out of the garage, serviced to make it fully functional again, and served as David's ride during the Gumball Rally in Vienna. In 2017, we had the rare chance to see this car in person, where we fully documented it, as only we know how. It was at this time that the owner, who has had the car since the Looking for Freedom tour in the 90s, 
wanted to upgrade some of the interior pieces. We offered our services and replaced both the overhead console and the pod buttons with replacement units that were more true to the series. The owner was going to change them out no matter what, so we wanted to help to ensure that the integrity of the car's history was not compromised. As a thank you, the owner let us have the original console and pods. And you might be interested to note that we have another piece from that same tour car. Well, two more pieces actually. These. That's right, the switch pods from that very same car. Take a look. There you go. What do you think of that? They're all dummies. These are acrylic, colored acrylic pieces that were cut out, just made to look like the season one, two pod buttons, but they are fake. Still, really cool piece. Someone spent some time putting these together. So let's take a closer look at the overhead and let's see if it still lights up. All right, let's see what this does. So I just turned the power supply on, we're at 12 volts. A little blink there, oh wait. So that blinks. Not too exciting, let's try this one. Mm, nothing there. Oh, there we go, look at that. Now I wonder, yep. That controls the speed. Look at that. What's this one do? This one feels like a dummy switch. I don't think that one does anything. Yeah, let me bring you in for a closer look. That is cool that it works after all this time. Kind of mesmerizing, isn't it? You just stare at this for hours. So let's slow it down. Wonder how slow it goes. That's how slow it goes. Let me turn off my overhead light here. There we go. And then, yeah, that one doesn't feel like it does anything. Just this one. See how fast it goes. That's how fast it goes. Isn't that cool? And, yeah, that switch only blinks those. It's interesting. And this one doesn't appear to do anything except light up itself. Unless we do them all. There you have it. The German, one of two German tour car overhead consoles. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Now you know an original overhead console from one of the Hasselhoff tour cars. Pretty cool, huh? I think this might be the first time this has ever been in the United States. I think this might have been built over in Europe. I don't know. But hope you guys enjoyed this. We've got other bizarre stuff like this just laying around. So if you like this, let us know in the comments below. We'll dig through some bins and, and see what other kind of weird pieces of Knight Rider history that we can uncover. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you. If you haven't, Please subscribe. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks. And now, while we listen to Joe's selection of Knight Rider music that we received directly from Don Peak himself, we'd like to thank these Patreon supporters. Look at you guys scrolling up the screen to my right. 
Wait a minute, how can you tell which side is my right since you can't see me because I'm not on camera? Oh well, you know what I mean. We are featuring these fine supporters at our Knight Rider prop restorer level. Thank you very much for your support. And for those of you at the Knight Rider history hunter level, we're recognizing you right now in the description. Now, if you enjoyed seeing this golden nugget of Knight Rider history being rescued from obscurity, then please consider supporting us on Patreon. Your support would empower us to bring you even more of these historical nuggets. We are the Knight Rider Historians. Till next time, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.